So welcome to the uh, first Python tutorial by yours truly. Basically, Python, I think, is a pretty good coding language to begin with. You don't have to know very much. It's very high level. It's very easy to do particular things. Like the language is pretty natural. First line already starting out with controversy. So you use the hashtag right here to comment. A comment just means like the computer isn't going to like do anything with this. You know, you're not going to execute anything. Basically, this is just if you write some complicated line of code, you can put a comment to say like this line of code basically does this or whatever. So normally in like beginner programming classes, people will say to just code all the time. Like, uh, you know, instructors will want to see like a bunch of comments and stuff. And that's usually because you might write like sloppy code or whatever and the instructor wants to understand like what you're actually doing and it's hard to do that if you have like sloppy code so they want you to write comments so that they can read your code and grade you properly but the thing with python is that it is pretty natural so like comments just in general just take up more space right on the on the screen when you're reading when you're reading this document right here for example the comments just uh just add more text and just more text to read and it's not a you know, visually appealing to the eye, like you might read some code and then get distracted by the comment or whatever, it might not be necessary. The point of this statement right here is basically that you want to write code that is pretty natural and so that you don't need comments, basically. You write like very easy to read, easy to understand, clean code that you don't need to have any comments to describe what you're doing because it should be like pretty obvious to anyone reading it. The only reason I have a lot of comments here is just to explain to you guys uh, what's going on because you guys are new to Python. You guys might not know what's going on, but I mean, it should still be natural anyway. I guess the other thing that I should mention is if you don't have Python installed or anything, Python 2.715, I'm pretty sure, let's let's just see, like if you go to all releases, okay, you can download 3.7.0, that's the latest version for Windows. And yeah, 2.71.15. Um, this is what I'm using right now. So, you know, if you have, you can use it for Mac or whatever. Windows, this, this is 64-bit. This should be 32-bit, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, I downloaded this one. You might need this one if you have a 32-bit machine. Mac OS for either one. And then I guess if you have Linux, you might use uh, something like this. Anyway, so that's that. And then I also am using uh, Sublime. So Sublime is like, Sublime is this what you're seeing here, this this screen with all this text and stuff. I wrote this in Sublime. So it has like syntax highlighting for Python. You see it later, I just have this uncommented, but basically, you know, you should have like, you can like write the text and then if you write things correctly, it will highlight the text and you'll see that you're doing the right, the right stuff basically. So to download that, you just uh, come in here and then probably just uh, come to download and then, you know, whatever, OX, Windows, 64-bit or Linux distribution. Yeah, whichever bit you need. Uh, yeah, I'm using Sublime Text 3 as well. I think it's pretty cool. Also, you might, if when you download Sublime, you might notice that your text doesn't look as nice as mine, just because I have, let's see, uh, package. If you go to package control, you basically want to do install package, and then it should come up. And then I have a color. It might not show because I already have it, but basically, color Sublime as like one word. You download that, and then Let's see, uh, it should be color scheme. Yeah, art school, that's what I'm using. So it's, you, just, you just install art school through Color Sublime and then that's just like, I don't know, it's just like the coloring. It's like more white. Usually it's like, if, if you saw that, uh, the default is like black, whatever, it, it's all your preference. It's fun because you can mess around with it too. Um, like, why don't I show you guys just real quick? Uh, so let's see, um, Color Sublime. Or I think you do this package control, and then you after you have Color Sublime installed, you can do Color Sublime install theme, and then you can look at all these uh, pretty colors. But anyway, um, let's go back to I like I like Art School. I don't know Art School, and I like I like Candyland too, or something. There's like two Candyland ones. I don't know. You can mess mess around with those. Find whatever you like. Okay, but anyway, so the first thing we have here is a uh, print Hello World. Okay, so. You know, let me zoom out just a tiny bit. And okay, so I just say this is a basic print statement. It writes to the console. So that, that means is basically wherever you're running Python from, um, like you get output. So you can use like like I mean I'm using it really simple, just like this uh, this I this uh, Sublime text. And so I'm using just the command prompt, right? 
and should be in here. So we have, um, we're using right now lecture one, no solutions.py. So you can do two things. So you can do, you can do this. You can just type in Python into your console from wherever, where, whenever you have it downloaded and it will come up with this little thing right here. Um, I think, can we zoom in? All right, let's go, let's go a little bit, a little bit down. Let's try like, let's try like 50. Okay. Okay. This is good. This looks good. Okay. So basically what you can do here is like, you can just type in, uh, Python code. Like, let's, let's actually try this. Hold on. Let's try the statement we have, uh, print hello world, um, exclamation mark, blah, blah. Okay. So you print out hello world, basically. That's what that does. Um, and then let me show you the other way that you can do this. So now I think you just can push uh, control C. Yeah, it exits it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So now, okay. So now I have like this file, for example, this lecture one, no solutions.py. Um, and if you just do like Python lecture one, and then I believe you have to do backslash. Yes. Okay. Could do that. Okay. Hello world. It's right there. Okay. Um, that's all that, that that really does. It's just printing to the console. Like this is, like I said, wherever you're running it from, it worked. And that other we, way we just did like Python and it gave us that um, I don't know what you really call it, but it's like it just it's just like is like somewhere you just type in Python code like dynamically, and the computer just kind of saves like what you're doing, and then you can do different things. But um, this is like what we just did here was we compiled and we ran uh, a file, a Python file that we wrote. So I wrote, I wrote a little bit of that file. You guys should have it too. Um, I have everything else commented out just to print out the hello world, just so we can see that example. So that's, that's how that works. You know, easy Python name of the file. Boom. Boom. Okay. Okay. So now, so what are we going to do today? So we're going to go over the curriculum here is, uh, I'm going to cover Boolean logic. If you guys have, uh, have done that at all. Um, and then we're going to do control statements. And then um, we're going to talk about, uh, yeah, I mean, control statements usually just talk about if, but then while and forward, like called loops. So we're going to talk about those. And then we're going to talk about tuples. Um, tuples are basically like, if you think of like coordinate pairs, and then um, you can add like any number of them. So you can have like XYZ coordinates or like, I don't know, WXYZ, et cetera. Um, this one is a little bit more advanced of a topic. Um, like we're going to introduce, I have like one recursive thing that, uh, that we're doing, but, um, I think like it, it's, it's an advanced topic and it took me a while to understand, but I think we could, um, I think I have a good way of explaining it, but we're not, don't worry too much if you can't understand, uh, this when we cover it, this is something more advanced that I just throw in just to see how everyone would respond to basically. Um, and then we have, so then, then functions, um, uh, strings, which are basically just like uh, like sequences of characters, I guess, like ABC, exclamation point, uh, two, three, four, whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, numbers, numbers can be characters. You just put basically a uh, string is something that has like, like basically this hello world thing. Like we put the quotes around it. So that made it a string. You could put like, hello, two worlds. Oh, did I say, oh, wow. Um, nothing happened there. Okay. Um, anyway, hello world, hello word. All the same stuff. Okay. Then arrays. So in a, a Python calls arrays lists for whatever reason. Um, it's basically like, you know, if you think of like a one dimensional matrix or whatever, I mean, yeah, I feel like people know what arrays are. Um, but we can, we'll, we'll, we'll see what, what that is exactly later. And then um, we're going to go over like input and output as well. So basically, how to pull input from a user or whatever, or how to deal with input and parse it, and then how to output. Basically, what we did already, this printing, that that was basically uh, output. Um, so you know, we'll, we'll we'll get we'll do a little bit more, and then honestly, like after we do those things, um, I have like maybe like like a like a homework assignment is to do a uh, calculator, and then I was thinking about doing Battleship like on a uh, on stream at some point. I don't know if we'll do it today. I'll see what time it is after we get through everything. But okay, so let's get started. So the first thing actually isn't in the curriculum. We're going to talk about uh, basic arithmetic. So let me just uncomment this and then 
So, okay, so what, what I did there though, let me just go over that too. So this is like the one line comment and you can do like triple uh, asterisks and then, you know, triple asterisks again, and that's a comment block. So whatever is with, within these uh, asterisks will be commented. Basically, so if you just want an easy way to comment some a lot of lines or whatever, okay. Anyway, so base arithmetic. Okay, so here is like the first thing is right here. We're doing like x equals one, right? Now in other languages, you normally have to specify what type of variable this is, but in Python, it's kind of it's kind of nice. We don't have to do that. It's a, I mean, like I said, it's a little bit more high level and it, uh, the computer basically can figure out um, what this variable should be like by giving it a one. It knows that like one is, I mean, I don't want to get too deep, but basically one is an integer. So it knows, the computer knows that X should be an integer variable. So it assigns X to one, you know, no, no problem. And then print X. So this should basically uh, just print the value one. So if we just, you know, comment out the hello world and let's just uh, comment out everything else here. Um, let me just uh, hold on. Okay. Okay. We're good. Okay. So, so we should, we should get out one, right? So let's come, come back here and let's try the same line of code that we did. And oh, maybe I didn't, did I not save? Okay. I didn't save. All right. Yeah. Remember, remember to save everyone. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we get, we get one, right? Easy. Um, yeah. Uh, the other thing I wanted to quickly mention just maybe as like a higher level thing that, um, just to explain like what exactly is going on here is, um, so a computer basically, we're, we're basically writing instructions to the computer, right? But a computer works in ones and zeros like basically what a computer does is have like uh wires of like different voltages basically you have a high voltage and a low voltage and that's a zero or a one um well one is high uh zero is low usually but i've heard of i've heard of actually computers that do it the opposite way but um basically instead of using zeros and ones to talk to the computer we're using python to talk to the computer and then there's another program called the compiler which uh, basically takes what it, I've written here and translates it into zeros and ones so a machine can understand and run the code. And so we're working at like a higher level um, and we're telling the computer things to do in Python and it's a little bit easier for us to work that way. But okay, so what's the next line here? So we have, um, okay, x equals x plus five uh, per x. So it takes the ones, so we already have x equals one and I guess this is like, you know, things get a little bit weird here because you see we have x twice, right? So this is weird, right? x equals x plus five. Well, this x is one and you add five to it. And then this is like, usually this is called like an assignment operator. Basically you're assigning x the value of what x previously was, which is one, and then you add five to it. So this should be x equals six, right? Um, so we can run that real quick. So, oh, wait, wait, let me save. Okay. So, you know, the one is printed from before and then the new value of X is six, right? Okay. Now we'll see here. So what's the next thing? So that's addition, right? And you know, we have, uh, the same deal. We can, let's we'll go step by step here. So now. Now x now x is six when we go here. So this this is all this is all um, this is all sequential, right? So everything gets or that gets uh, executed in sequence, and for at this point, like this x right here is six. So the the, the, the computer knows okay, like you're gonna assign x to the value of what x previously was minus two. So this should be four, right? X was six here, and well, x was six here. Right, and then now x is six here minus two, and then this x is gonna be four, and then we're gonna print four. Okay, so it's saved, and let's just look at that. And so yeah, we got four right there. Okay, um, you know, basic stuff. There's nothing, nothing too fancy. Like, okay, the first thing that happens over here is 
that, um, you know, feel free to stop me if I'm going too fast. I think this stuff is, you know, like I said, it's pretty basic, pretty uh, readable um, and everything. So shouldn't be too much of a problem, but yeah, feel free to stop me. It does also doesn't really matter, like, so this one I have like close together like this, you could have like, you could have the X minus two like this or like that or whatever. Um, even, I think even like two spaces like that should probably work. Uh, we can, we can test that out. But so this operator is a multiplication, right? Um, it looks a little bit different just cause like you, we don't use X, but um, you know, I think, I think even in some math textbooks, the, the star operator is, it could be used for multiplication. So should be fine. So what do we have? So X was uh, four, right? And so we multiply by three. So now we should get X is 12 when we print it out. So let's try that. Let's see if that uh, that two works there. So it does, right? So we didn't have the compiler didn't yell at us or anything. We were able to have uh, two spaces before the two. It didn't, doesn't really matter. We could write however we want. It is good practice to keep it uh, kind of clean or at, at the very least consistent. I would say so. I just thought other people can read it. Um, you know, it's probably good practice to leave a little space. We might we might have as well have this like that. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, I'm using a free trial of Sublime, so that, that's why that thing popped up there. Okay, now uh, now let's go on to uh, divide. And, okay. So, x is equal x divided by 6. You use this symbol for divide, but everything else is the same. You just remember these two symbols. So this is multiplication, this is divide. Um, and you can even, like, make some, like, functions or whatever to make this work, too, if you'd like. So let's see what happens there. So what would we, x was 12 divided by 2, should we get we should get 2 as our next number there. Okay, 2. Great. What do you think? Any questions about uh, arithmetic? Um, you know, you're free. If this, when this becomes a video, you're free to go back and look at everything. But I think, you know, just recap. You, you have uh, variables, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. I think that, that's fairly straightforward, okay? Um, yeah. Reach out to me, uh, by the way, whenever you want about uh, that or anything, if you have any questions or anything like that.